There is a new report today that Tesla delays Giga Shanghai's plan to restore production to the pre-lockdown levels for two reasons, but that may also affect Giga Berlin. In this report, I'm going to tell you what are those reasons and how it may affect the production at Giga Berlin, but things are getting better and the company has already sent another transport of over 4,000 Tesla Model Ys and Model 3s to Europe. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And give us thumbs up, please, if you find this report informative. It seems like it would take one more week before Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai could return to its pre-lockdown vehicle production levels. Following a three-week shutdown that saw Gigafactory Shanghai pause its vehicle production, the facility reopened last month with one shift of workers under a closed-loop system. Keep this phrase closed-loop in mind because we're going to talk about that and it has to do with one of the reasons that I just mentioned above. A single shift in Giga Shanghai is estimated to result in a daily output of about 1,200 cars per day. Close loop means that you close your factory, you have your workers living in the factory, not going out and coming in, you feed them three times a day and they work and produce, uh, the, uh, the, uh, pro and produce cars at Giga Shanghai. That's the close loop. Recent reports, however, noted that the electric vehicle maker Tesla was looking to increase the facility's output to 2,600 car units per day, close to its pace before China implemented its stringent uh, uh, lockdown measures. This would reportedly be accomplished through the addition of another shift of workers, which would return to work starting May 16, which means today. However, things have changed because as per an internal memo reportedly viewed by Reuters, these plans have now been moved to at least May 23. May 23. So wait another another week. Citing a person reportedly familiar with the matter, the publication Reuters noted that Tesla is currently seeing some challenges with the sleeping accommodations for Giga Shanghai's incoming second shift of workers. Remember I said pay attention to the closed loop that I'm going to talk about? Well, the first reason is about this. So Tesla is reportedly seeing some challenges with the sleeping accommodation for Giga Shanghai's incoming second shift of workers. Looks like they're not finding enough place or maybe it's also the feeding issue uh, that because you, if you people work there, you need to feed them. And uh, uh, this brings to the second point. With China still adopting stringent uh, virus lockdown policies, companies are only allowed to reopen if they can adapt to a closed loop system, which requires workers to eat and sleep with the factory's premises. And Tesla is seeing some challenges to doing that with more workers, maybe finding mattresses, uh, providing some shower, bathroom, things like that. So what do you think can be these things except the ones that I mentioned? Now, this will allow workers to be isolated, preventing the further spread of the virus in China. But this is not all. This brings me to my second point, the second reason. There are uncertainties with regards to Giga Shanghai's suppliers as well, some of which are still yet to return to their normal operations. So the second reason has to do with Giga Shanghai's suppliers. If you don't have enough suppliers who are maybe trying to work in a closed loop system, but also are trying to f solve their own challenges, bringing people in, sleeping them, finding mattresses, finding some accommodations, some regular accommodations, you will have these difficulties. Now, to be honest, Tesla China, for its part, has not issued a comment about Giga Shanghai's target. Friends, despite its challenges in China, Tesla remains optimistic about Shanghai. During the first quarter earnings call alone, CEO Elon Musk noted that Giga Shanghai is ramping as quickly as it can following its long shutdown this second quarter. Giga Shanghai is coming back with a vengeance, so I think notwithstanding new 
issues that arise, I think we will see record output per week from Giga Shanghai this quarter, albeit we're missing a couple of weeks, Musk said. Now, here's the thing. Giga Berlin gets a lot of supplies from Giga Shanghai. I think some... Um, uh, parts and maybe even some battery related things are coming from Shanghai. So when I filed my Giga Berlin report earlier this morning, I talked about that. Now Giga Shanghai getting one week later, things are going to be a little slower at Giga Berlin or at least they're going to be cautious how things come and when the shipments come. I don't, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm saying it may be slowing down and affecting Giga Berlin, which is already having uh, uh, some um, slows, slowdowns with uh, ramping up but things are going to change there starting from the second half of july if you haven't seen it please like uh, take a look at my previous report about giga berlin i will have the link in the description of this video well friends let me know your thoughts about these two reasons that i talked about i think they are going they are reasonable reasons it's difficult to bring so many thousands of workers and providing them with mattresses food and accommodations bathroom shower all the things that they need soap and so on but it also you also depend on the supply because other companies need to meet those challenges in order to bring their people to work in closed loop system to supply parts to gigafactory shanghai this is a difficult task so it's okay to wait for one one week to see when the production comes up to pre-lockdown levels this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage have a great day god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and i'll see you soon in our next tesla report and we'll look forward to reading your comments